Hey everyone, we got Joe and Isaiah here from the Automator, and today we have an update to our Ultimate Spy, and it is Ultimate. It's it's really got some great, impressive stuff. Um, we we loved the first version, but this one's got a few more additional things we thought through after launching it, which we really like. Mm -hmm. So mainly, um, we had this feature in which if you're if you open an admin window, you will get kind of like a little box around it, red box, telling you that that program is in admin mode, which means some of the interfaces that we use for detecting stuff on that window may not work as intended because it's admin. Now, the quick way for you to determine whether there will be a problem or not is that if this box is red and your tool window here is green, then you will have a problem because the automator is not being run as admin mode and a non-admin program cannot access everything from an admin pro. So there's a few things that you might be able to still see and that might work up to a certain point, but there are other things that might fail, for example. Especially but, setting values. Getting right, values. setting <laughs> values. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> now, um, I will show you uh, something else that we will be able to do uh, when we reload. But if you open a normal window, this is a normal window, you will see that this one gets a green border. And this is, again, the same concept. If the two colors are the same, you will not have issues. If the ultimate spy border is green and the window is green, that's everything should work fine. And look at that. You see UIA, how in one of them doesn't show up or what, what? there's one of them that is missing. Hold on. Oh, the com object, I guess. This one in admin mode, I cannot access the com object because it is not admin. So if I want to access the com object, my script should also be in, 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 in admin mode. If that is not the case, I wouldn't be able to get it. That's the thing. If the colors do not match, be careful. That's what is going to happen. Now here, for example, if the colors match, then yeah, I get access to everything. But you see these icons right here. These icons... This is something very cool because for each interface, right, for each way of automating, we set up an icon to then let you know which tools you can use to get that information, which, which is part of the biggest issue that we have. Like, yeah, I know the com, but which tool can I use to get the com object? You know, like, yeah. Yeah, and, and we work in the stuff day in, day out. So we instinctively knew, but during the hero call, um, we were thinking about it. And all of a sudden, I'm like, you know, we need a decoder ring, the secret right. decoder ring to say, hey, this is available, and here are some of the tools. And, of course, there's there might be other tools that we don't list here, but these are the tools built into the Ultimate Spy that you can use to work with that interface, which is really, really cool. Exactly. So right now, let's say that I decide, okay, so depending on simplicity, oh, the the higher the simplicity the better right so right. let's say hey i want to see what win32 controls i can use in here right because that's the, so i just take a look at the icon and i open the drop down and there are three tools that i could use to get that information i could use simple spy the automator spy and wind spy as you can tell because the three of them have the same icon, which is, you know, the Win32 interface. You see what I mean? So if I do say, well, I know a little bit about, you know, programming, I know UIA, which discovery tool I can use to get the UIA information? Well, if you drop, drop down, well, the only one that can do that is the UIA viewer. And that's the point, Joe, as you mentioned, as we have been doing this for a little while, we kind of like know the names, the association, and those tools that can give you multiple information at the same time, we kind of like instinctively know which one is the one that we're going to use. But if you don't know, then this is the way how to do it. So well, we, we purposely picked for the UIA the pill because you're going to need an aspirin if you're working <laughs> with UIA. Now, it, it is, you do have to understand objects, right? It is a complicated thing. It's really amazing because with most programs you can use uia but it is a very complex thing to be using now as i was mentioning okay we have this discrepancy of this thing being green and this one being admin so how do i launch in admin mode well we can go ahead and relaunch our tool the ultimate spy we can relaunch it reload it 
And at the beginning, whenever you launch it or relaunch it, it will ask you if you want to run as admin. Now, you can choose one of those and save that option for later, which that means it will not ask you all the time for it. But say that you say no here, and then there's no way to go back to running as admin, then you would need to reset your settings. So if I select do not ask again, and I say no, yeah, there is no way to relaunch this program as admin mode from within the program because um, there are some limitations that we have on that. But it's not hey, us. It's it's right. Windows thing. There's no but way. Now, if I reload the program, it's not going to ask me because I told it not to ask me, right? So, right. yeah, how do I go, go back to um, having the option to run as admin? Well, you just need to right-click on the icon and select the option to reset settings. That would reset that um, that prompt, right? And now it's going to be reloaded, and then it's going to ask you whether you want to run as admin or no one more time. And again, if you run as admin, let's go ahead and show you that. You will see now that the border is red. See that? And so your crosshairs. You, right, and your crosshairs are, as well. So if we do that, um, you will see that both programs are red, and that means, hey, there shouldn't be any problems. That means that your script should be running admin mode too. So just make sure that you understand how that works. So awesome. I don't know if there's anything else that you wanted to add. No, to I think it's, it's an amazing, amazing tool. Um, I highly recommend you, you check it out, give it a use. Uh, we'll put the URL up here. You can grab it. And uh, we spent a lot of time getting this to, to work properly. It's, it's quite complicated, but uh, it really <laughs> supplies and puts a lot of the tools we often use in your hands because it, it packs them all together for you. So. Hope you enjoyed that. If you like this, like the video, it really helps us out. Um, have a great day. Cheers. Bye.